Well, I think you know who I'm cheering for here, Tristan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Danger Dave matching up against uh, Gunez Bilal, 24-25. Yeah. All right. And this is going to be on Mega Random. And this map generation looks like, what was that one Empire Wars map where we had like the hill in the middle? Ooh, Acclivity. It's like a bigger yeah. version of Acclivity is what this map looks yeah. like. Yeah. And I actually, I actually saw this one. I mean, we've been... I'm beginning to sound like a broken record. I saw this generation last week. Like we're seeing a lot of these generations again. Dude, mega random is less random and just more mega nowadays than anything else. Yeah, it's. I I don't know if it's because we're old and we've DE's now been out for like almost three years, or if it's because mega random's gotten a little worse. But we have seen some of this stuff. But I'm not sure a 500 elo player named Danger Dave has as much experience. No. Uh, if he's dangerous, he's probably dangerous off his computer. He's that type of guy. And uh, they start with horses, two of them actually, to scout. Uh, they start with a market and some outposts, which is good. Uh, you can actually use the market in Dark Age, which is interesting. And plenty of stone, plenty of gold. They just don't have boars here, Dave. So they're going to have to bring in food in other ways, it seems. Yeah, we know he's dangerous, but is he a Dave? That's the question. We're about to find out. Yeah, so here's my question. Uh, I had a buddy named Dan growing up. And he would always complain about how there'd always be nicknames with his name. Like Dan the Man, he hated Dan the Man. And anytime, Dan the man. anytime we'd show up and there'd be like, we're, we're in high school, right? So like we, he comes over to my house and my dad's like, hey, it's Dan the Man. Or like, uh, I don't know, we go to some school event. The coach is saying Dan the Man. He hated that. So did you, did you have a lot of that? Because I didn't have a lot of nicknames with Tristan no, growing up. Like Dave is not really a name you can do nickname like what are you gonna say dave the rave or something like that <laughs> i did there was a brief point in middle school for about a month where i was dr dave which dr. is just the dumbest nickname ever and i don't remember who gave it to me but i'm glad that it died off there's no context to that dr dave no context no, there was i i i didn't even i i blocked it out of my memory okay. i i oh my Until god now. so many goats dying dude oh my god Red is just massacring goats at the moment. Um, but, like, I, I forgot about it until someone I knew in middle school, I think in high school at some point, said, like, oh, remember when we used to call you Dr. Dave all the time? And then, <laughs> Well, listen, if there's one thing I know about the internet, no one is going to bring that up. So I'm, no. glad, I'm glad you told us in confidence. Um, yeah, I never really had that stuff. So here's a funny story. So I, um, oh, we have a garrison, a media garrison from Red. Wow. Good. Yeah. Great awareness. Um, so I transferred to a school that had a graduating class of 32 people. So tiny, tiny school. And when I got there, there was already a Tristan, which is like, what? Out of oh, yeah, that people, sucks, dude. Yeah. There's already a Tristan. And he was like known as Tristan. So I'm like, okay, you can't call me Tristan. And there was also someone that had my last name, completely different person. So I was like, okay. And so they called me... My initials TB, which stands for tuberculosis. Tuberculosis. Yeah. So I was I was tuberculosis in high school. That's my that's my nickname story from school. That and Trisket I heard a lot, and it, none of those things really are that exciting Trisket. to relive. Yep. Wow. I was I was actually very fortunate growing up. I never had. There was one other kid in my grade once that was called Dave or David. What? But there was like very, very few Davids huh. uh, in my school. So that was nice. I was always like alone, you know? Well, that's why you're dangerous. <laughs> yep. Magyars here for Danger Dave. You got to think about scouts when you're talking Magyars. They do have the cheaper scouts. You get the attack for free. But since you don't actually have a starting scout, it does make a scout rush Dude. a little less effective here. Red's just on another level here. He made the mill in between his house and the berries because he's thinking about farms already. Still hasn't made a lumber camp. Uh, there's still all those deer to be able to be taken mm -hmm. over there to the to the east. So this is this is something else here for Red. It looks a lot better for Blue at the moment in terms of the buildings and the build. I mean, Red has a little bit less idle TC time, but I'd still take Blue's position here. So I played this exact mega random generation a couple weeks ago and this there was this amazing strategy that happened against me so i'm gonna i'm gonna hype it up a little bit so i think this map higher level right you don't have boars sheep are running out so you really need the deer and if you look there's two groups for blue right 
So he's got the group to the north of his TC, which will probably have to mill, and he's got the one towards the south. So all of my deer were in the same spot, right? And I was about to go out to mill it, and then uh, what I didn't know is my opponent had made two militia, and he, at the start, was like, as we see Red's massive line of houses. <laughs> Dude, he doesn't even have a lumber camp. Why are you spending the wood on that? I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, so my opponent's strategy was to kill my deer and basically defeat me because if I didn't have all that food, uh, it would be a problem. And he ran right into my TC. Oh, both of his militia. no. <laughs> yeah. So, that's tragic because it's a good strategy. It's a like, good that's strat. That's smart, man. That, yeah. The game after, though, he converted my Fatoria. It was that game. So he definitely got me back. I, I got that generation, the Fatoria one, and I tried to go for that play. I think it was a day before you messaged me about the converted Fatoria. He adds what more! The? He doesn't add a lumber camp. Red! No! Make, uh, he, he, in his eyes, you got to get into the mind of the player. He's like, these trees are free. Why would I spend wood to just chop wood when I could just walk? Yeah, this is this is unique. I, I think we should start talking like over under on how many houses we get here. Because this is, we're at 15. I think it's just like, it's too perfect the way the map lines up to not build houses up there. It's very <laughs> aesthetically pleasing. Yeah. And I think he's just going to try and house the whole thing. Oh, and, and when he goes for a lumber camp, that's where you put it. That's, that's where you put the lumber camp when you finally go for it. Ooh, that is going to be... I mean, they're com somewhat efficient at the moment, but wait until it... they start to drop off. Dude, they're all going to drop off at the same time. This is yeah, going to be gonna be awful. clumped. This is like trying nice to go to the grocery store there. right after work. It's like everyone just like psh, 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 smashing into each other. That's what your grocery store looks like? <laughs> hey, it's not actually that bad. It's not it's that way bad. way better than I thought. Yeah, maybe we should take it back. <laughs> yeah. The red's probably experienced. Meanwhile, you've got blue. I like blue's approach. It seems a little more realistic. You've got um, houses as part of a wall. and uh, This is really good. Really good eco balance here for blue. Yeah. As, as I would expect from someone named Dave. Yeah, that's true. Dave's are just... Great at everything. Good mm -hmm. at eco balancing, yes. You He's know, a doctor. <laughs> you're good at eco balancing, especially if you start with a market in Dark Age. Oh, dude, you. if I start with a market, <laughs> I can balance better than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect generation for a Dave. Okay, so I, I mean, it's 500 Elo. I keep thinking knights, Magyars, but nah, 500 Elo. I, I'm not so sure. I think they're going to ease their way towards Castle Age, but Blue's going to have some problems. Blue clearly tried to wall, and you cannot yep. build on that sloped stone Dude, terrain. Red's adding more vills to the, the lumber camp, and now it's getting more efficient now that he's taken out some trees. It's actually not looking <laughs> too terrible, though. Dave, also, Red is at now at 21 houses. I want this to go forever, and then I want the barracks and the archer range and the blacksmith to be built connecting to the houses I in that corner. Dude, I want this to be like a two-hour game so we get a complete yes. red border around the and then, Oh, he deleted all the houses at the front. And then, oh, he deletes those houses for efficiency. Dude, house, no, I think I think it's not efficiency. I don't think it's efficiency, Tristan. It's just... I think it's the fact that he wants all of his houses to be along that edge. Wow. Okay, so I'm with you. I'm really hoping Dave isn't dangerous. I hope... I feel like if I was someone who wasn't a dangerous person... I would put dangerous in my name just to yeah just, just to, to freak people just out. to freak people out cuz yeah you know that's what I'm hoping for here it would be so funny if like let's say this game does go late and red's houses extend all the way to that northern corner and blue's got a lumber camp there and blue's like what and then he brings one ram and he just rams the whole way down the line I like I like the confusion too with blue and the northern wall <laughs> he's just kind of like he's like but I dragged it over there <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I mean, like I, I did drag it, and it, that's probably all he's doing right now. Is his TC is idle and everything? Mm -hmm. No, he's garrisoning against the horse, I guess, trying to kill that. But it's probably like, man, I, I, I told them to make the wall there. Yeah, yeah. And there is a stable, so this is where Dangerous Dave is showing me that with the stable blacksmith, that there's definitely a plan here. Um, it's a little bit of danger. Yeah, a lot of danger as Red now is abandoning the wood line and going where? Oh, God, are they all going to chop that tree down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, Dave, Dave, 100 wood on the tree, 10 villagers. So they will take the tree out perfectly. Red is, he's not a meta player. Imagine um, he he chops this tree and then makes a mill right here with the exact yes. 100 wood. 
He's a, he's as Sim City as it gets, except for maybe Dark Elf, who I think is in a league of his own. But that was calculated from Red. Now, is Red thinking too much about uh, some of these things to be competitive? And then he goes for the Lumber yeah. Camp. Dude, immediately pulls him away for the Lumber Camp. I think he just wanted that to look nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Just like, just like the line of houses. Now, if Red was a true house professional, he would know that if you hit the key more than once, you can actually change the way they're facing, but... That's a lot of work. I wouldn't expect that. Blue's wall at the top. Blue's He's still, still stun trying. locked. <laughs> <laughs> He's still stun locked. He doesn't know. He's like, man, but I'm dragging here. Am I doing something wrong? Maybe I'll try stone walls later. I'd love to see, you know what would be very um, campaign-esque is to see a tower on either side oh of these walls. Bro, oh! the houses are making their way on the I bottom I called side. it. <laughs> I called it, Dave. Dave, Blue has just made the tower, bro. As I said it, he made the tower, so he's going to tower that area. Holy crap, this is this is an amazing game. I'm really hoping, again, that Blue doesn't make knights, because as much as that's fun, I really want to see this game progress. <laughs> Get the houses <laughs> for red. Oh, my God, oh, man. Oh, my God. It's perfect. It's perfect. How can Please, this player... Danger, Dave. <laughs> Turn yourself around, become yes. Ranger Dave or something. Like become something different. Oh my god. This is this is incredible. And and guys, like we we talk a lot in low elo cast about how you know you do this X, Y, or Z to improve, but he at least Red is clearly a player who he's gonna play his type of game. Win or lose, yep. he's gonna do this. He doesn't care. And I respect this so much because it's already stressful to play online. There's a lot of people who even get stressed playing against the AI. Red just like, eh, who, who, who cares? He's been there, done that. He's like, I'm just here to have fun. No, no gold income with Turks. No stone income. Just all on wood and farms for houses. I think it's time to maybe put another villager on the houses and add about 20 more. I think we should see that soon. He does have wheelbarrow for the farming, but no yeah. gold. But still, he has a market. He could sell that wood. And get up to the next stage. He needs another building, though. He needs a blacksmith. There it is right there. Does Red stop making houses when he hits his pop cap of 200, or does he continue it? Is he my... continues, dude. Bro, he he keeps going. Okay. Did Blue scout any of this? That would be funny if Blue scouted some of this. I'm looking... It... Oh, I just switched to Gaia. That was confusing. Um... Okay, Blue reaches Castle Age. Still no knights, even though he got the upgrades. Hasn't finished the second stable yet. Yeah, but the fact he's making a second stable makes me very worried for Red, <laughs> who has done a stellar job uh, continually producing here with his villagers. Like, he's got two minutes mm -hmm. of TC idle time. But Is he going to wait for the gold instead of using the market? Yeah, I hope he uses the market. He's Double drop barracks, triple barracks, quadruple, quadruple barracks, qu quintuplet barracks. Okay, that'll take some time. Owls is still continuing, and we do have knights. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That could be a problem. Knights with Magyars, too. You get the extra attack. But it's up against five barracks. <laughs> well, what will be five barracks, and then Turks don't get pikemen, bro. Uh -oh. <laughs> that is true. Actually, I didn't even look at this. <laughs> yeah, come on. I mean, there's a well, chance that Blue is just really worried about this opening here. No, it's not Pikeman, dude. It's supplies. Supplies! <laughs> Let's go! No, bro. Oh, my God, man. I mean, Turks do get fully upgraded champions. So, clearly, Red's already thinking ahead with all the houses. So, maybe if Blue doesn't attack right away with Knights, he could make enough Man-at-Arms, which would then be enough Long Swords later. He shift-clicked that, uh, his food that villager to the things at the back. His food went into uh, Man at Arms upgrade, into supplies, and then of course, villagers, garrison, and forging. So ideally, he should have already been up in Castle Age, yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. it's not happening. And Danger Dave is just kind of building up his knights at the back, getting all the upgrades. He's feeling very comfortable here. Yeah, I'm really hoping we see a town center here from Danger Dave instead of moving forward. No, don't try and win. No, attacking bro, what are you is doing? not. This isn't. What do you think? This is a war game. You think you're supposed to go kill people? That's not. This is not at all what this game is. Okay. On the bright side for red, red will have three barracks completed. Maybe four by the time these knights arrive. So Dude, could I make think... a lot of spears. 
Red had exactly the amount of houses he needs for 200 pop. One, two, three, four, five. What? Yeah, you're right. I think he ultimate big brained it here. Yeah, because you have the TC, which is five, and then you have 39 others. It's just like so much thought put into something that, you know, we don't normally think about that uh -oh. at that level. Uh oh. On the way Wake to Castle, up to Castle Age. Age. Knights are in your. Knights, knights uh -oh. are in your. Knights are in your. Eek. Red knights are in Red. your. Red. Red, the knights are Red. here. Red. You, Red, you've got knights. Red, you have knights. There's Eco dying. Red, there are knights. Hello. Is he looking at the Red, house? Oh, he's there are <laughs> look at look at what he was doing. Look at what he was doing. <laughs> he was placing more houses. Oh God, what he hate? It's important to prioritize. Yeah, the, it's, the important things yes. in this game. Okay? Houses. He's 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 not a castle age aggressor. Okay, he's thinking about the long game here. He's making spearmen. He actually he lost seventeen vills. He's only behind by eight. And that should probably change a bit because he's going to lose a few more. Yeah, going for those Turk spearmen too. I like how we suddenly <laughs> doesn't have enough food. I like how we thought that Red intentionally counted how many houses he needed. Yeah, and then it was just two a happy later, coincidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two minutes later, he adds more. I mean, what's, what's Blue doing behind this? See, Blue's adding a second TC. There's a chance. I, I don't think Blue's going to make any more knights, Dave. So if Red could just kill this, and I so hope he does. I just want this game to continue. Okay, TC fire, Spearman helping. Come on, TC, let's go. Fire like your life depends on it. Let's go. Yeah, the knights have the knights have plus two, and there's no more spearman queued. <gasps> the knights are continuing to go after villagers. As soon as this house villager dies, I think Red calls it. No. This no, one no, man no. has built this guy has built all of these, by the way. Yeah. Yep, you're you're right on that. Now, market would be very useful here, maybe because Red didn't build the market and they started with it. Red doesn't know. Yeah. You can always buy a little bit um, of resources I wonder if he here. remembered Turks can't get pikemen either. Yeah, I also don't know. Like, Red feels like a player who would just play random Civ, right? Red does not feel like a player who goes into the game with a with a plan. Like, Magyars you pick because you want to go knights or scouts or whatever. So, Red's able to settle a little bit. 27 villagers versus 46 doesn't look good. But, man, the housing is is fantastic if only i just want to see a full border around this map with houses i know that'd be so nice you couldn't do it near blue's base though because of the rocks unfortunate now blue's going into triple archer range up on the hill mm, i don't see that for some reason it's in the far north he's building them on the edge of the oh map. oh that area okay well it does make sense if your opponent's going spearman to make a switch into something like archers or cav archers so i would like that choice I really hope that Blue scouts the houses. I just, I want a comment from Danger Dave. Danger Dave is a name that I expected a little more chat from, to be honest. Yeah. You've had it's none of that. super dangerous at the moment. Well, he was dangerous he when was. he was into the, the wood line. Yep. But it's not very Dave at the moment. And if only, like, building new houses could lead to you selling them to foreigners or something. And I, I don't know. Like, if only this actually helped the Red's economy. We are at... 53 houses and no sign of stopping. He's got the wood to make more houses. Yep. Oh, but look at the bottom there. It goes down to one line. I wonder if he makes the palisade wall across that. Oh, that ruins it. To bridge yes. the houses. Yeah. Well, at that point, if you look at the minimap, it is pretty satisfying. It's somewhat symmetrical at that point. So maybe, maybe Red finally decides it's time to stop at that point. No. No monastery, um, no, no, re nothing really from red. Uh, besides the upgrade of iron casting, which will make these four spearmen stronger. I oh. love the fact we were asking what he was doing when the knights were in there killing twenty of his villagers, and he, he was, was making actually houses. making houses. Yep, it was perfect. Oh so. man. Okay, so apparently, according to his profile, red picks Turks all the time. So he will not. Maybe I think it's he doesn't. A Turkish name, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I that would be interesting if he was from Turkey, yeah. Um but here we have blue stealing the this is common. Um in history you'll look back and you'll see that a lot of uh, civilizations stole ideas from previous civilizations that they were conquering. 
That's exactly what we're seeing here. Also, small side touch. I don't know if you noticed it, but as the monk dropped off the relic there at Blue's Monastery, he dropped it in the front door. Not not every day you get oh, to see that. Nice. Yep. That's nice. Also nice having the cab archers on the field. He's got them in production right now, and he went for murder holes, even though the only building that could utilize murder holes is that one tower at the very back of his base. But, I mean, if he got the university, he might as well go for it. And Red has stopped making houses here. He pulled the villager away. Where is villager that, is no longer there. He went back somewhere. I don't know. Okay. We don't know which villager it was. And he's queued up more defenses here, Dave. He's at eight spearmen now. Uh, I like the spacing for Red as well. I just love how Red thinks about it. You got one tile gap between the market, blacksmith, and monastery. And I also think building it in the same spot is genuinely good for newer players because they probably don't have go-to building hotkeys. And they might not even remember what buildings really look like. So having it in the same spot uh, is going to be helpful there. Okay. Uh, we've got three plus two spearmen with one armor and squires. Up against Cav Archers and Knights from Blue. And, man, the farming eco is just triggering me for red. For it, red? It looks nice, but, like, make it around your town center, my man. <laughs> yep, adding more farms here. I'm sure red is only focused on that. The Cav Archer switch is not something red is expected. It's very common, I think, to die to something and then make the counter. So, great, great experience from Blue. I mean... I haven't seen how many games both players have played, but it does feel like Blue is a little bit more experienced. But my my main burning question, Dave, is actually what does Red do when there's not a map where you can build houses on this elevated I don't know. What cliff? does he do when he gets... Uh, I mean, I guess that's why he plays Turks, so... Oh, second town set. Man, the, this guy is an artist. This guy is an absolute genius. And if you're wondering... Classic ice cream comment came in. It's a town center, not a farm center. Yeah. <laughs> It's supposed to be at the center of things. Yep. It, it it's has, not supposed to be near the farms, exactly. It has kind of accomplished that. Ballistics now for red. Ballistics, treadmill Ballistics. crane, murder holes. Oh, wow. Okay. If only treadmill crane was like a dark age tech, those houses would have been up in no time. Treadmill crane is regularly seen as one of the, the most useless technologies out of the university because it is quite expensive. It means I you build 20% faster for those that don't it know. It just, it has its place, right? Like if, if you have the food and the, and the wood floating in later Imperial age, it's worth it for mm -hmm. sure. Um, if you're in DM, it's certainly worth it. Yeah. Um, but of course you start with that text, so it doesn't matter. But in castle age, <laughs> it's rarely applicable. Someone said easy to go downhill to work, hard to come home. <laughs> that's true <laughs> nothing like a long day at work and then having to walk up this giant mountain unless you've got a cobra car or something love the castle there for blue again like this game doesn't feel super competitive right now but blue is doing the right things getting the relics uh switching into cav archers and I, I think a castle on a hill next to all those resources is showing me again that blue knows what's up here He's constantly have, has villagers queued too. Like only 14 minutes vital TC with three TCs is really mm -hmm. good at this stage. Um, we saw 14 minutes with one TC, 20 minutes into yeah. the game for a couple of these players. So that's really good. And Red, I mean, to be fair to Red, he's kept producing for the most part as well. It's going to rack up now as he is town belling for a horse. Ding, ding, ding. And is on the way to And him. he goes up to Imp. Oh my God. He's on the way to Imperial Age. Holy. So I've just been given information on the players. Danger Dave, he has 22 matches. So I think Danger Dave is probably, he's going to be on the up and up soon. Because he's, mm -hmm. well, then again, he killed 23 Vils. It's really easy to boom when he killed 23 Vils. But apparently, um, Gunis, or our red player, has 279 matches, but 187 of them were team games. So not as experienced in 1v1s, I guess. I love how he, like, deletes the Lumber Camp just because it's ugly. Yeah. Like, we get rid of both of those. They're ugly. Might want to get rid of that third one as well once you bring the Relic back. Just make sure you don't delete the Monk by mistake. And uh, he's just making sure his, his base is really pretty at this point. We have a Monk bringing in the Relic. That was the fifth Relic on the map. Oh, wait, no. I'm used to there being five. There's actually a lot more over here. And Blue just researched Corvinian Army, which means Magar Hussar can be created 
without there being any gold cost. And I mean, blue can commit to anything. Blue could go for the Cavalier. Blue could go for the Cav Archers. Blue just really needs to move in. Uh, red just still kind of hanging out, Dave. Just like, well, what not going to counterattack. Yeah, let's think. Um, well, the thing is... He's gotten a lot of archer techs and ballistics, but he has nothing to produce from. Yeah, I think Red is just getting the techs, so there's no techs left in there. I think Red just wants to research what is available. It's buying stone, maybe a castle? Now Fervor to make the monks faster. So new Sanctity made the monks stronger. New Fervor made the monks faster. I think we see two-handed swordsman. It does make sense because he's got the barracks. Apart from that, I have... No clue. So a castle would make sense as well, possibly. Blue More is just houses loving potentially life right now. Like there's so many stressful games you play, and then you kill 25 vills, and you can just boom. I think blue is 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 enjoying it. He's not trolling. He's not. Uh, he's not refusing to put his opponent out of his misery because he's not really like he hasn't hit him again. But I think he when he yeah. does fight, he just wants to roll him. Blue's economy looks so much uglier his base looks so much uglier than reds and there's the two-handed swordsman upgrade yep blast furnace on the way blue just building up cav archers right now and the third wood upgrade even even coming from red so he really likes all of the upgrades he mm -hmm. likes all of the techs yeah it's just a player that needs time right i think if blue would have delayed that attack by another five minutes i think red would have mm -hmm. actually been fine but losing, what was it again? Was it 25? Yeah, 23 villagers. Oh, 23 vills, yeah. That's in one really attack. Bad. Yep. And then blue had He's... no pressure. There was no counterattack, so blue could just add more economy. Red still didn't take all those deer, by the way. There was True. 10 deer there yeah, that he didn't take at all. It. And they're pretty close to his TC, but I think he likes the wildlife, like, hanging out there. And red goes for Bombard Tower. <laughs> oh, my God. But... But also, let's not get too excited. Guard tower, fortified wall, and arrow slits. So again, I think red, and I remember this when I started. You want a pretty base, and you want to have all the text research. There's something satisfying yep. to doing that. I don't think red is really a player who has a defined plan beyond doing those things. From the you houses to the like... buildings. Another Maybe TC. if we... Oh, that TC is exactly where we knew it was going to go, too. <laughs> exactly spaced out. Oh, my God. Red might think, like, you get a special achievement or something for getting all the techs. And yeah. maybe he tries it every game, you know? Like, Blue is kind of doing the same thing. Blue's like, I'm not going to attack before I get all the techs. But Blue is, is kind of a step up, you know? Like, he... He no longer cares about how pretty his base looks. You know, he cares about how effective it is. Blue, that said, did actually make houses on the left hill. And it almost looks like he's trying to chop these trees so he can make more houses there. And if that's the case, Blue, respect to you. I was not expecting you to focus on that here. Dude, he's just getting every single technology. Fortified wall coming in. He doesn't have a single wall. Mm -hmm. What's next? Is masonry. it going to be arrow slits? Okay. Oh, he's got them all queued up. Masonry after that. Will we see he did shot potentially? This is weird, but do Turks get heated shot? I don't even... I don't know. I think all civs get it. No, not all civs. There are some that miss okay. it. I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, he got chemistry for free, so he might... A lot of people confuse chemistry and heated shot because chemistry uh, chemistry adds some fire to your shots. There's Ooh. artillery coming in. Okay. okay. Artillery and then... Um, Sapahi. Sapahi. Jinx. Also love how the monk, the whole army just shifted forward like they're ready for something here. They're like, all right, we're an imp. But none of these texts are really relevant to the situation for red, which is half the problem here. Like, we, we're seeing keep research. We don't have any towers. Bombard tower, haven't seen it's one It's like, yet. it's keeping his score artificially high, though. That's true. <laughs> like if you compare the populations, <laughs> my man is at 70 with 56 bills. The texts are keeping his score quite high here. Do we see sappers come in, maybe? Sappers is fairly expensive. Mm. He's probably trying to click spies right now, and he's researching that's too, that's too expensive. Meanwhile, we have hoardings and Leap Magyar Hussar for blue, who's just still getting ready for the attack. Um, hey, Red, supplies! what's the next tech? What's the next tech I don't know here, what's Red? left. There's more monk techs left. There's another castle now for Red. 
You know what I think Red will do? I think Red wants to make the next line of buildings connected to the barracks, mm. but can't because the gold's still being mined with that mining camp and the trees are still there. Look at this army here from Blue. He's made his way to the middle of the map. There are many, many units here and mm -hmm. fully upgraded units too. This is a Paladin. Heavy Cav Archer with Magyar is such a brutal combination. And Red doesn't even have enough to stop five Paladins, let alone <laughs> 29 with Cav Archers behind. Let's see if Red actually fights this. If Red tries to go for conversions or if Red just kind of realizes this is over. Okay, here comes the army. He's gonna go. <laughs> here we go. Okay, I, got, I can counter this. Here we go. All right, clicks them all. We're gonna get one conversion. Blue's running away. <laughs> Blue is fleeing the attack. Oh, that that's just what we call micro. I forgot. Yeah, great micro there from Blue. Pulled the paladins back. There will be no conversions for the holy men. The castle Double does castle, go though. up, though. The architecture and hoarding's in for these castles. So very difficult. 7,000 HP on these bad boys. And I he's also got ballistics and all the, uh, the range upgrades, yeah. too. So the castles are actually quite strong. Like, uh, Blue might look at that and say... Man, he's got a lot of upgrades. Bomber Is he going tower. cav archers? Bomber tower in front now. This is Gunas's How much you want to bet? Last stand. Red tries to delete that lumber camp behind the castle and ends up deleting the castle. I, I was thinking that earlier, but there was one which was even more behind it, and he, he yeah got I that. saw that. So I think if he got that, I think he's okay. One would hope, anyways. He immediately gets more upgrades again. I probably just doesn't know what these upgrades really do. I was just thinking, let's let's research these things oh, and hopefully Blue's they apply. Oh, Blue's killing the houses, dude. No! He sees the house wall. He sees it. He knows it's there, dude. No. He scouted it with the horse. I used to like you, Danger Dave. I used to like you. Lead Janissary on the way. Dude, if Blue gives Red time, he's going to be brutal to play against. If he gives him another <laughs> hour to set up, he's going to have a full Turk tech tree here. <laughs> I like how we said if he gives him another hour, as if that's a possibility here. I'd love to see Red immediately react by extending the houses on the other side, but I think Red's got some bigger problems. And Red, to his credit, is actually making Genisaries now. So I like that. Not making out of two castles, which is a little sad. But okay, has fixed that. And Jannies are not bad. I think Cab Archers are going to be an issue, but... It's a 30-40 Jannies plus the castles, and Blue doesn't have the siege. Blue, you've got to be careful here you don't toy around with this player for too and much. Like from Blue's point of view, there's two castles there. There's two bombard towers. Yeah. You don't want to go in that because you feel like you can't kill those buildings. But at the end of the day, I mean, you can send in more units uh, than Red can kill. True. And now yep. you've got the Trebs coming up behind. So Red is going to be in a rough spot. Red is going for the final archer armor. The final cav armor is going to have full tech tree soon. Capture H is not. It has red bars over everything after these two upgrades. <laughs> Imagine like, imagine blue. Except bloodlines winning. Oh, true. Yeah. Well, he needs a stable for that. I guess he's also missing a lot of archery range techs. Okay. I like it from blue. Um. Has two trebuchets here, and we'll slowly whittle down these towers, and this should force a reaction from red. And the reaction from red is to now make a siege workshop. And and remember, I said that he wanted to clear out the trees before making buildings. Yep. He's got space now, and that's even. <clears throat> so he could make Bombard Cannons, and he's got three in queue from that Siege Workshop. And he's finally got Vils going over to the left side. He's Ooh. finally expanding his empire here as Blue comes forward. Uh, and Bombard Cannons from Red. Don't give this man time. Do not give him <laughs> another 40 minutes because he will be a danger, dude. <laughs> if he can just repair this, I don't know if... I don't have faith that Red knows about repairing... Also, I don't have faith that Blue is actually paying attention to the Trebs right now. Okay, Blue is. One Treb's going to go down. That's why all the, the infantry upgrades came in before, Dave. One of the oh Trebs God. is down, but... Janissary is... He's trying to get the other one. He just needs to get rid of the Trebs. Needs to get rid of the Trebs. He has a Bomber Cannon there. Maybe he can snipe it with the final shot. The Janissaries almost kill it. And Bomber Cannon. Boom, oh, baby. Red's bottom self. Off my lawn. 
Now, what Blue doesn't realize here, he's like stressed out right now. He's like, how can I break this defense? Simply run in yeah. and you break everything. You're literally a bull in the china shop if you run in here. Yeah. I mean, he's trying to be conservative, I guess, with his gold. There's also why if you're worried about wasting units, Blue's going to now heal up his, his gold units. This is why making a trash unit, a unit that doesn't cost gold, is always a good call. Because you could, you would feel better about running in with just Hussars. And okay, maybe Blue heard you. Here he comes. And he's underneath the castle. And he sees the Bombard Cannons. And here he is. And Red got nothing. He'll probably just snipe these and then leave. Yeah, I could see that. And he's made... He did kind of trickle trap there. He went in with two. So he's going to make five this time. And good work from Blue to do this. Uh, you miss, You missed that one, buddy. <laughs> Blue, you missed He's one. He's just gonna leave, man. Blue, you missed one. <laughs> All right. And Spearman being queued up from red. Let's what go. counters Paladin Spearman? They are fully upgraded, though. So they are three plus four. The Cav Archers see. They're like, did you guys not finish off that bomber cannon? Fine, we'll do it. There they go. I think he did a split. Yeah, he kind of microed there. Mm -hmm. And there's Turk Bomber. Did you see that shot? Yeah. Shot went so far. Oh my there, god. There are no joke, dude. There are no joke. All right, Red, what's the next plan of action? Are there any texts you don't have yet? You don't have Siege Ram yet. So maybe you could get that. Um I don't think you have heated shot yet, if you get it. Need stables, need ranges. I mean, I like the plan of Leech and History because you have the castles. So like you need something now. So I like that plan for Red. And Red currently has We're closing it on 20 of them, so it's not bad. He's bad against everything that Blue has. Blue also has relics and a lot more eco otherwise. But uh, I'd like to think that there's a chance. But as Blue comes in with two new trebs, Red would need Bomber Cannons again. He needs to continue feel to like, play this sniping treb game. Yeah, Blue need, or Red needs Blue to run in on no attack stance, give up the whole army, and that buys him another 40 minutes to make mm -hmm. his ideal base. More bomber cannons coming out. And he's he's got so many Janissaries. These castles with this amount of Janissaries um, queued or stuck inside them are no joke. Yeah. They are very strong. Feels like Red is getting a little stronger, stables. Dave. We've got some stables. Now, if Red does, and I don't think he'll do it, but if Red does something that Blue hasn't done and starts to raid, there is a lot of vills. And I could definitely see Blue sending all of this offensive army home if Hussars Bro, show this up to his eco. If Blue lets this go on any longer, this is a wood game, honestly. Yeah, could be. The Trebs are coming forward. Uh, Bomber cannons will be able to snipe both of these, I think. Red's going to full commit on those. Um, he needs to shoot the other one. Nope. Won't be enough. That one's still going to be there. Red does use the castle fire nicely. He always runs in and then he's going to ungarrison the Janissary and go after that trip. No, he's going after it with the spearmen. Those George! aren't going to make it better. I'm sorry, but he's George! he's discovered the tech tree from the stable now. Okay. He's discovered bloodlines and husbandry. And making hussars, Dave. He's making Pulling hussars. villagers to repair. And uh, I think he's going to go out there to try and snipe this. God, Blue, you're, the trickle trebbing is bothering me so much, though. Like, either delete some vills, or just when you show up, show up with four trebs. You would have taken out both castles if you showed just up with four trebs. The fact that I I like it because Blue is respecting Red's defense, right? <laughs> He's saying, like, listen, you've built everything here. I'm going to be a true gamer. I am going to give you what you want, and I'm going to come in against yeah. these castles. There's so many other areas you could run into. Or you could just ignore the castles and run right in between. Or you could attack the castles with your paladin. <sighs> Let's go, Hussars! He's going to get it. He's going to get it. He got it! <laughs> got him! Retreat, boys. Let's go. And here comes Blue with another trip. And yep. Dave, I just I need Red to have the presence of mind to send the Hussars to Blue's base. Yeah. Oh, no, but he's discovered Camel's Caval and Cavalier now. <laughs> Cavalier and Camel. Look at these castles. Look at how much damage these castles yeah, do, by dude. the way. Yeah, dude. And Blue's frustrated right now. Blue's frustrated. He's like, screw the trips. But there's still so much military for Blue. But the spearmen are gonna distract the paladin, and the castles are like, they're like one-shotting paladin. This These are true. a lot of dead paladin for Blue. 
it's true. All the upgrades are in. And now Blue's like, I'm going to run it with my cab archers too, which I don't agree with. And now he, he decides to run away. And Dave, is there actually a chance for Red here? I, I would still I say... I said an hour. Yeah, I you did. I said he needed an hour, dude. And I think this has confirmed our question we had at the very start that uh, Danger Dave is indeed not very dangerous because <laughs> he, he should have won this game so long ago. But he's oh back God. for but more. Now, look at the way he's protecting this Trev now. Yeah, look he at is... the way he's protecting this Trev. <laughs> and then you got the monks on the hill. This is like from a movie, bro. Uh, oh, no. Red's going to go out with everything to try and uh -oh. snipe it. Oh, uh -oh. no. Also, I think he's going to click the Treb, which means his units will not fight Blue's units at all. No, he's kicking. Uh, he's clicking the Cav Archers. Okay. okay. And Janissaries no, have a lot of it. Oh, he just no. clicked the Treb. Disaster. No, he didn't even click it. He clicked through. Oh, oh, slaughter. Absolute slaughter. Here come the camels that will help, actually. But I think he's clicking the Treb. He wants the Treb. He can't get to the Bro, Treb. Oh, it's over. Yeah. It's funny because the resources are actually looking really good for Red. <laughs> like, if Red had a little bit more time, if Red had another 20 minutes and Blue wasn't attacking, maybe. But Blue's had the consistent economy lead. Blue's had the relic lead. Blue's had the lead this whole game. The only thing Blue hasn't been leading in, I'm sure we all know, is houses. And uh, Oh, man. He hasn't been winning our hearts either. Yeah, it, that's true. But I don't know if it's possible to compete with... Uh, with Guinness? Guinness? He's going to be in the Guinness Book of World Records with these houses. Yeah. I don't know if it's easy to compete. Ten there. more spearmen. It, it Ten is more correct. spearmen like, for red. If you're seeing a lot of mm. horsemen, it's not a bad play to make that type of unit. But with okay. Turks, you don't get pikemen or halberdier with Turks. Dude, blue is not trickle trapping anymore. He's learned lessons. He's finished, He's got dude. four more behind <laughs> this. Red is done, bro. He's going to get both of these trebs, likely. Maybe only one. Again, the thought process with, with the from. trebs is if you go in with four, they might take out one or two. They have to sacrifice an army to do it, and then you've got more. Blue not using all of them, but it does feel like it's at a point where it does <laughs> not matter. <laughs> He's got the spearman. He's going to charge. Charge! Red's got commitment, Dave. To whatever it is, Red's got commitment. To the upgrades, it's yeah. there. The houses, it's there. The fights, even if it's going to be a bad fight, the commitment's there. What a game. I it's, love this. This is fun. Yeah, I, I love I, players like this, man. I love the fact, not only that uh, Red made this defense here, but that Blue, like, was so stubborn. As Red queues up 14 Bombard Cannons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. He's like, oh, yeah, I forgot those things. Let's go for it. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see if like blue, blue actually moves forward here. And there's the castle from red, but that's not a very neat castle. That's not he's panicking, maybe. Yeah. It's not lining up with all the other buildings. He's going against what he believes in at this point. He's compromising mm -hmm. on his belief system. Yeah. Because he realizes that uh his god hasn't been too favorable to him. Yeah. It might take a bit to make 14 bomber cannons. Uh Danger Dave focused right now on the barracks, but the one bomber cannon showed himself. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll see another castle And he here. is so focused on that bomber can. He clicked everything to attack it. Cav archers are still in split formation. And here comes the fight from Danger Dave as Red goes for more bombard towers. Danger Dave sniping the bomber cannons. He's getting out of there, and Red actually saves two of them. <laughs> and, hey, there's going to be ten more. So if he can continue to hold, who knows? Now, Blue doesn't know this. Blue's thinking that he's doing a good thing, but him taking out Red's barracks is actually good for Red because those pikemen have not contributed much to this game. And oh, Blue's Blue. diving now for this? <laughs> and Red taking out his own pikemen? You love to see it. Or get spearmen, sorry. You love to see it. Oh, my God. Red's going to have a ridiculous amount of bomber cannons soon if he doesn't throw these away. Okay, I'm looking at the house situation. 42 houses. Oh, he's still good for now. If he starts to lose a little bit more... No. Two-handed swords. <laughs> well, Dave, the pike, the, the, the spears weren't working. So he's got to oh, try no. the next thing. He loves this, though. He fires and he backs away. I can see why he picks Turks. Fires, backs away, and then he draws them into the tower and the castle. That much is very good for Red. The problem is Red doesn't have good support units. Dave, 
Brett's not dead yet. <laughs> it feels like it feels like he will be dead, but he's not dead yet. And here comes the trebuchets from blue. These trebs are gonna die. I think so, but if the bomber cannons die as well, that could be the main problem. Red will get one. Come on, Red. Get two. We'll obviously lose three. the tower as well. It's gonna be three. Blue's he's gonna go for the fourth them. one there. That'll be four. And four. then he's five. Oh, he can't get it. He <gasps> can't get it. He doesn't have enough range. He can't get it. He can't get it. Oh no. And Blue is sacrificing military now. He doesn't care as long as he takes down the bombard cannons. Good and he's into Blue. the farming eco. Yeah, farming eco. Houses are right beyond this. That trebuchet is still there. Blue could use that for the castle. More bomber cannons coming out. That's the last of the bomber cannons for red. 27 population for red now. Might be time to consider calling it if you're but, red, but red oh, says no. no. I'm going to make Janissaries. <laughs> <laughs> he garrisons the villagers, and uh, he makes there some jans, go. and now he calls it. What a great performance there. Danger Dave proving he's not very dangerous. And uh, red just such a unique player. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. We're gonna, I'm going to have to watch this guy again at some point. Yeah, he, he immediately goes to the list. Like, my, my thought is, how helpful is he in team games, right? Like, if he played 280 team games, mm. it, he's probably really good in post-imp because he just he defends that corner where he's at, right? You wouldn't um, want him as a pocket, that's for no, sure. He would not, this is the type of guy who's probably not going to send much help, but I will say I really wish would have seen what Red would have done if he didn't lose 23 villagers to those knights because it yeah. was only five knights, and... You, in theory, red would then have the town centers faster. In theory, red would be closer to blue economically. And I mean, there were a couple fights here where it was pretty clear that blue was kind of struggling to figure out what to do. Maybe if red had more hussars, more bomber cannons, and more bomber towers in a closer game, it would have been uh, more competitive. But I still think it's just a testament to red that we were able to sit in here and be entertained. And a testament to blue as well with, with how he played it. Uh, he did definitely ease off the gas a little bit. Uh, could have been maybe faster to killing off his opponent there. That was fun. Uh, but Dave, before we look at the, uh, you might have looked already, the research percentage. Do you have any guesses here for red? I'm already looking at it, dude. Uh, that was the one thing I was looking for, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking 80%. Um, Where is it? Research percent, 66%. He missed quite a few. Okay. He missed quite, what did he miss? He missed some of the monk techs. He uh, didn't I guess, get all I guess, of those. Docs really hurt you too because there's a lot oh, of Oh yeah. There. Yeah, doc texts and uh market texts. He didn't get those either. Yeah, there's a lot of texts you wouldn't actually want to research um, that figure into that. Yeah. Economically blue did all right. Uh ten thousand more gold, way <laughs> more wooden food. But Oh, I, archer range he missed too. He didn't even have one. Ah, uh, true. Damn. Yeah. I will say this, red. Never change, my friend. Never change. All right. Um, you want to make those houses on the edge of the map? Make the houses on the edge of the map. Play to have fun. This goes for everybody, obviously, but that was a really fun watch. I, I appreciated that. That is like clear to me, Dave, that this person might never see this cast or or whatever because there was yeah. no outside influence in how that game was played. Where the farms were placed, where the houses are placed, zero outside influence went into Red's line of thinking there. It was just all about how he wanted to play Age of Empires 2.